The team at Malawi's only wildlife rescue centre are often called by members of the public to help with wildlife emergencies. But some calls are more unusual than others. Amanda's on her way to a church in southern Malawi, which has asked for her assistance. And she's brought assistant vet Laston to lend a hand. Welcome, this is a difficult time. Yeah. We, we greet in this yeah, simple you. way. Yeah. Most welcome. This Catholic community has been looking after some unexpected guests. We are at the Montfort Monastery in Balaka, and we've come to pick up some pythons. They've rescued them, actually, over the last two years, and they're ready to go out into the wild. Pythons are poached for their meat and skin. This church wanted to protect them. Hi. Hi. How are you? Amanda and Laston are going to have to catch the snakes, but they're not in the most convenient place. Oh, I see. OK, so they're all in a snake pile. They're going to try to take the two largest. Pythons are not venomous, but they have extremely sharp teeth. OK. One. Fantastic. So we can put it into here. I know. Oh, look at that mouth. Okay. Go in, on the ground. Great. One python successfully wrangled. The second may not prove so easy. It's coiled itself on the beam. Pythons squeeze their prey to death with their powerful coils, so this is going to need some thought. It would be hard to uncurl. Yeah, this one. Unless we had multiple people, but we'd have to get control of the head first, right? Yep. Amanda needs to grab the python's head before she tries to uncurl it. But just very gently, just see if we can move him to see where the head is. It's, you can see it? It's in the corner. One wrong move, and she could end up with a serious bite. Pythons latch onto their prey and don't let go easily. Cool. Amanda's having to keep one eye on the snake above her and one on the snake below. Don't bite me, kids. We're just going to slowly let go of the stick. Somebody needs to grab this right here on this side. Okay, don't pull too much. But just gently. Last thing, help him gently, gently. Now we're gonna go this way. Perfect. Right? Don't pull anymore. Okay, that's fine. Very, very gently. Very, very gently. Okay, very. Whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Don't pull anymore. Sorry, I need to. Amanda can't let go of the head. Okay, I got him. There's another. Hold him in the middle. Last time, tell him to hold him in the middle. Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, great. They have to stop the python from coiling again. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. All right, there we go. Huh. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Two pythons safely stowed for the journey. It's good. So it's now time to load them up and get them home. This is the heavy one. Here we go. Done. Certainly. <laughs> that was really exciting. It's just beautiful for us, especially now. We are really providing the real home of these uh, pythons. Yes. Thank you so much. 
Finally, the pythons are on their way to freedom. Amanda's had permission to release them in nearby Lawande National Park. Lawande has got this fantastic floodplain that's teeming with wildlife. And then it's got Mopani woodland, and some of these riverine thickets that black rhinos live in are just gorgeous. And because it's got all these nice little habitats, it's basically got some of the best wildlife populations in the country. Hey, Mike, how's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? I'm good, and you? Very right. Hey, I've got your pythons. Yeah, thank you for bringing them. I'll lead you to where we're going. Pythons live in several habitats, including woodland. So this is a perfect spot. Awesome. There. OK, I'll hold this if you want to grab the... Oh, did you oh, see that? Yeah. This one looks like he's ready to go. Now, let's go out. Putin, yeah. But python number one isn't as ready as Amanda thought. Do you know, oh, it's, he keeps wanting to go this way. He yeah, keeps coming here. We're just going to slowly milk him out this way. There we go. Lewande National Park has strong security, so these snakes should be safe from poachers. So when he's out, He's back into the world, so we have one more to release. We didn't want to release the snakes on top of each other. After having lived in that small room, they need their space, they have a whole park. So here we are in the floodplain. Yep. Another great habitat for pythons. That looks good. All right, cool. Mm. Yeah, right here. Sort of unceremoniously, gently dump him onto the ground. Oh, he's looking like he's ready to go. Great, keep going, Lastin. I want to see the head. He's oh, there. yeah. There he is. Oh, it's got caught in the fold of the device. <laughs> oh, yeah. This snake doesn't need to be asked twice. <laughs> oh, my goodness, he is out of here. That one was exciting because it just jumped. Pew. Like each individual animal's temperament, yeah. always different. Yeah, that's very cool. What we want for these animals is them to go out and continue their lives here. These are animals that were brought in to the monastery from well-meaning people because they didn't want them killed. They were given a little bit of a sanctuary and now they're getting a second shot at life out in a national park. And so that's, that's really ideal for them. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.